Well, welcome to Chapter 9 of Wheeler's Most Excellent Textbook on Security of Risk Management. And what we're going to be doing is uh, I have a series of six videos where we talk about Octave Allegro, we talk about artifacts associated with risk management, we talk about uh, audit responses associated with risk management. And the overarching title of the chapter is Reports and Consulting, so we're going to get into the, in this uh, first of six videos, really just the introduction, what our lesson objectives are, and then uh, what artifacts are. And then in subsequent videos, we'll start looking at the three phases associated with the Octave Allegro uh, model. So let's get right into it. So here are those kind of uh, three lesson objectives that we have coming out of Chapter 9. First, we're going to talk about uh, the uh, Octave Allegro uh, frame uh, or uh, risk management uh, framework. Uh, we're going to talk about writing a risk assessment report in a business setting and then uh, responding to an audit, having an audit come in, and then what are the appropriate responses associated uh, with that uh, audit. And as we're uh, looking at this, I've kind of listed out uh, some of those uh, steps associated uh, with the model, but we'll, we'll dig into that a little bit later on. So let's talk about artifacts. And no, we're not talking about the Indiana Jones types of of artifacts. We're talking about all of those documents, the PowerPoint, the Word, the Excel, uh, the email messages even, uh, that you're using to capture the factors, facts, and assumptions for making risk decisions. Ideally, you want to be able to capture all of that uh, information and have it available so that when uh, someone is coming in, uh, that you can respond effectively or you have a risk uh, you've got all of those artifacts that underlie uh, those risk decisions. Uh, this talks a little bit about, as you're doing risk assessments, what uh, information, what types of artifacts are out there. And it's not meant to be an all-exclusive list. Instead, it's meant to just give you the general idea. So you've got what's the risk dis uh, description, what's the ranking, why was it giving, are there any compensating controls that should be considered, what is a risk owner and what is a risk decision associated with that? Again, that kind of all makes sense uh, that that may be a really good format for doing that risk assessment. As you're looking at exceptions and mitigation plans, you got to look at business justifications. You got to look at the mitigation actions. Uh, what policy exceptions were granted? How long are they good for? What was their ranking associated with them? Um, as the, the book covers in its appendixes, questionnaires, risk inventory, uh, all those risk statements, uh, the risk profile associated with an asset, all of those things you want to be able to capture as part of a risk management artifact. And again, there are a lot of these, and again, you, would, you want to come up with what's going to be my repository, how am I going to store this, how am I going to maintain this. Well, guess what? Look how time flies. We're already at the end of this video because it was a short video. We've introduced what the lesson objectives are for Chapter 9 as we look at reports and uh, uh, consulting. Uh, we're going to, in the uh, next three videos, get into the Octave Allegro uh, model. And then after that, we'll start to explore audit responses. So keep on studying, keep on learning. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video as we uh, explore Octave Allegro.